stability of platforms and the poor user experience. If it's not easy to use, if there's problems with it, you know, we're seeing people where there are clients that are integrating into their products. And then we track the actual metrics of what prompts and things are happening. And as we are looking at this, we see a massive drop off. They may prompt it a couple of times and then they just go back to doing what they're doing. This is more around like enterprise software. And this is a problem where people don't see like, hey, AI is just another feature. And the way you use it within your software product or whatever, is that solving a user problem? Is it really helping them out? It's poor experience and it's really not driving home what the business should be doing. Think about core business problems. There's so much hype that you know, may be thinking, right, we, we have to, if we're not implementing AI, we're gonna get left behind. You know, our competitors are already doing it. Oh no, we just have to go. What, you know, that company was saying they got something AI. Yeah, let's take it. Let's do that. I would really say you need to stop and, and take a good check about, you know, what is it that you want? What is it that AI can do? Until you understand exactly what it's capable of and how it could benefit you, how can you really be in a good position to say this tool is right for us? It's something that you want to sit down and, and understand and then say, all right, again, where is that real value? Think of things like don't go necessarily with proprietary options, go with open source. Mm -hmm. You know, how are you structuring um, internal knowledge in your company? What are the tasks that the road tasks that, you know, people are doing in your company or that your team is doing? How can they really be supplemented by AI? I think as long as you're addressing those things, it's good. And, you know, not just going for AI for the sake of AI. That's, I think, a point for concern. If you are just yeah, for sure. riding that that hype wave. Maybe we take a, a flip on that script and say reasons why we're maybe not in a bubble. Absolutely. And I think there's different points here that we could bring up. And the first one is the infrastructure is there. You know, unlike the 90s, we have the cloud. We have these amazing GPUs, uh, robust kind of data pipelines. The only other thing that I think is the infrastructure might be a little bit weak at and they're trying to solve that is the energy um, requirements. Mm -hmm. Building on your point is is really, you, know, you think of of the different phases, like we were in a a sort of, you know, starting phase when the internet came around, there, there weren't all those things that you're mentioning. And we still had to figure out so many processes as well. Think how our UX processes have have been defined before UX was even a sort of buzzword. How they've refined and the tools have refined, and everything from just running, um, you know, automated testing to deployment pipelines. There's so many things that we've perfected over the last twenty something years that didn't exist when the dot com crash happened. Mm -hmm. Thinking we've got all of those, we've also got the foundational tools like. Um, your GPT-4 models uh, or Gemini or Claude, you can physically test those and you can see the value that they can offer. There's so many um, sort of technological limitations we've experienced for that dot-com crash. We're not identical now. And you, you know, some would almost say we're more in the sort of adolescence phase where you know, a lot of these have, you know, these processes have been refined, the technology has been refined. We're now just you know, working through, you know, how we're sort of um, integrating these new technologies that we're coming up with on the existing sort of infrastructure. I'm curious, in video games, cheat codes let you skip months of grinding to unlock special abilities instantly. Have you ever wished for something similar for your software challenges? What if there's a way to instantly access 20 plus years of specialized expertise instead of developing it all internally? What if you could solve in weeks what might otherwise take months or years? Would you agree that most organizations face a steep learning curve when implementing new software solutions? At My Company Impact, we serve as that cheat code for companies looking to transform complex software into intuitive experiences that users love and that drive real business results. Would it be valuable to explore and how might this work for your specific situation? Visit impact.io for a free strategy session focused on your unique challenges.